Hi, welcome. It's Cassie. I just wanted to show you this really quick little love lottery coupon tutorial that you can make for your Valentine or for your kids for Valentine's Day, uh, depending what you want to write in them. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need is these printable love lottery tickets that you can get for free on my website. And you'll just need to print them and then cut them out. I'm just going to cut out one here that I can show you as an example. And then the next thing you want to do is write whatever you want in the hearts. So you could do like naughty things if it's for your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, or if you want to make it for your kids, you can, you know, write other little things that they would like. So I'm just going to write a few things. I'm using a red pen. Um, I tried this with red and blue and they both turn out fine, but I like the way that the red looks because it's Valentine's Day and it looks cute in these hearts. So I'm going to go with that one. So I wrote breakfast in bed, date night, and then day of no chores. So be sure you keep your, I got a little bit outside of the line there, but it's not too bad. Be sure you keep your lettering inside of here because we're going to cover this with the scratch off stuff. So you don't want your letters sticking out from there. So then the next thing you need is some packing tape and You're just going to put it right over the whole thing. And I designed these so that they fit almost perfectly. There will be a little bit of tape overhanging, but um, for the most part, it's a pretty good fit. I wanted to give you a little wiggle room in case you don't get it on there perfectly straight or whatever. And then just cut off the excess tape. Okay, and then um, you're gonna need the paint for this. So I used this Folk Art Silver Anniversary Metallic Paint. I did also try it with a plain red paint and I haven't tried scratching them off. I'm gonna do that here with you on this video um, in just a minute. So <clears throat> I measured out a half of this cap of paint. So I filled it halfway and then I dumped it into a little mixing cup and then I added four drops of dish soap. I used Dawn but any dish soap should work just fine. And then I took this small little detailing brush and I'm just gonna um, paint over these. They'll need two coats but for your first coat, make sure you um, make sure you mix your paint really well. Sorry, I forgot to say that. But for your first coat, um, I did it pretty thick because I wanted it to cover to the point where I didn't have to do a ton of coats on this. I wanted to be able to just do two coats and call it good. So. I'll show you here how I did the first coat and then I have one that I've already first coated and I'll show you how I did the second coat so that it looks smoother. So the first coat I put on pretty thick and I just kind of like uh, 
moved it around on there until I had it pretty well covered everywhere. So this is going to dry like how it looks. It dries smoother than this, but you know, it has a lot of like little swirly spots and like indents and stuff, but don't worry about that because when we put the second coat on, we're going to do it so that it smooths it out. So I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to put this one aside and grab this one. I already did the first coat on all of them. So you can see how it ended up drying. It's a little bit like bumpy looking so for the second coat i'm going to try to make it more smooth i'm still putting a good amount of paint on And then I'm just going to try to go all in the same direction when I'm smoothing it out so that it looks nice and uniform. Okay, so... There's that. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to grab some that I have already dried. So here's the red one. I just used plain uh, red acrylic paint and this is matte. So I don't love how it turned out. If you had a glossy red or a metallic red, I think that might look better. But it looks a lot more like DIY. I feel like like you can see all of the imperfections around it where the metallic paint kind of hides those a little more. So let's see if this actually scratches off since this is my test one. Scratches off just fine. And I mixed this one just the same as I did the silver one. So it's just a half of the cap of paint and four drops of the dish soap. So that's another option if you want to, if you want to just use whatever paint you have on hand and not have to go buy the metallic paint, that works just fine. I think it would be better if it was glossy. That's my only thing with that. Now, I wanted to say when you're painting, I mean, when you get finished painting, if you have like little spots where you don't like how it looks, you can just use your fingernail or like a toothpick and just get those little edges and make them more perfect looking because it scratches right off. Okay, and then let's do one of these silver ones too. I want you to see how easy it is to scratch off. So there's that one. And then, um, so what you can do once you have all of these um, all finished up, all painted, and it takes a little bit for the paint to dry. It takes a little time for the paint to dry. So be sure to give it enough time and then once you have them all done, you can put them in a stack like this and just wrap a ribbon around. And 
and it looks really cute. Just makes a cute little presentation for your gift. Gonna cut off this other little tail so it matches the first one a little bit more. And there you have your little gift. Isn't that so cute? And so simple. It only takes a little bit of time and these are probably supplies you already have at your house. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.